I'm doing this. I'm really doing this. It's happening. Hello world. Welcome to my official YouTube debut, my first ever bullet journal video. My name is Kirsten and this is my October plan with me. As you can see in the thumbnail, my October theme is Garfield. Um, I wanted to combine Halloween and fall into one theme without it becoming too Halloween-y or too fall-y. And since October 4th is also World Animal Day I, and I am a dog and cat mom, I somehow landed on Garfield. And the more I started sketching the theme out, the more excited I became and decided to record it, or most of it, so I could share it with all you lovely people. Now, like I mentioned, I am new to this filming, editing and all that. Uh, I don't have fancy equipment. I record everything with my phone and I only have this one phone arm thing that doesn't have a lot of range. So the angle might be weird at times. Uh, I am also, my book is not fully in frame all the time. So I'm really sorry about that. But I do hope you'll bear with me while I show you my creative bullet journaling process. Which also means that I'll be flipping my journal every which way. Uh, now for the items that I use, uh, I will have everything in the description down below, but I use Microns and Tombows. And the notebook is the Secret Keeper Notebook from Archer and Olive. Now I'm not sponsored by any of these brands, nor was I gifted any of these items, but I am a fan of these items and of Archer and Olive. Um, I love that, they're, that they are such strong advocates for mental health awareness and I fully support that. I won't be getting into details on why I started bullet journaling. Maybe if I do decide to do these kinds of videos more in the future, I will. But for now, I just really wanted to share with you what I've created. I also won't be talking the entire time because, ugh, but I will pop in and out to tell you a bit more about the spreads that I've set up and I hope you'll enjoy this video. So this is me working on my cover page. Uh, as you can probably already see, it's not very minimal. I do love the look of minimal spreads, but for me, I love the creative bullet journaling style and full doodle heavy spreads. I decided to add some leaves to the spread to give it the fall vibe and unfortunately uh, the pen I was using died on me. It was the finest nib, the 0.05. So I switched over to the 0.1 nib and I went over the first leaves again with that pen to thicken them up a little bit.
And that's my cover page almost done. Uh, I still felt it was a little bit too empty, so I decided to add some washi tape to uh, the little bits of negative space there. And yeah, I thought it's, <laughs> can you believe it? I still thought it was too empty, but that's my cover page done. And this is my monthly overview. Now there's no calendar um, on this spread because it's on the cover page. And I just filled the spread up with floating Garfield heads and speech bubbles to fill in my goals, events, upcoming birthdays and anything else. Um, behind the some of the characters, as you can see on the cover page as well, I decided to add some squares or bubbles um, to uh, as a background because the blue really makes the yellow and the orange pop even more and it also gives it uh, that more comic book like vibe. And I want to apologize, uh, apologize up front because the next few pages will be very fast. It will be my lifestyle tracker, uh, my gratitude log, my quote page, and also the brain dump is missing in this video. But I will have photos of those on my Instagram account if you want to see them. I know a lot of people like the trackers. I call them lifestyle trackers, but they're my habit trackers and my mood trackers in one and also uh, I want to track my productivity energy and uh, sleep so I decided to combine them as one and if you really want to see what that looks like please go to my Instagram account the information will be linked down below Here we are on my first weekly spread. Um, I love variety, but I do really love and need structured layouts. And um, I feel like in this for this team, it also worked out really well because the box layout uh, does give it a comic book vibe. Um, but yeah, I do like variety, so every week will be different. I always include a big box for my tasks, tasks, I hate that word, um, as well as a mini, mini calendar. I like to highlight the week we're in and uh, yeah, leave some space for all these cute little doodles. Now, as for these Garfield doodles, um, for me, Garfield is one of the easiest cartoons to draw. Um, I just looked up a bunch of reference photos and sketched these out by hand. I didn't trace these or anything. Uh, I've been drawing Garfield since I was uh, very young. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just, it's, he's a really fun character to, to, draw, to draw and I, uh, I love it. Also the bubble font I think is called Daddy Cartoon over on dafont.com. It's not completely the same, but it's my version of that uh, font. Um, I 
use the font a lot for my lettering and um, yeah I probably should have used <laughs> the font for my handwriting as well because uh, it's not the cleanest but you'll see that later it's not the cleanest handwriting but as long as I can read it it's it's fine Here's my second weekly spread. I went for uh, another box layout. Uh, this is, I think, one of the most popular box layouts. It's the eight by or, or the eight box layout. And so I have one box for all my tasks for the week and uh, space for a mini calendar, of course. And the weekend will always, or most of the time, be in one box because I usually don't have a lot of stuff happening over the weekends. I love this layout because it does give you a lot of space to write in. Now we're on to my third weekly spread. I went for a vertical layout in this spread. Um, there's a big box in the left corner, which you'll see in a minute, uh, for all my tasks for the week. Uh, also, the weekend, again, is in one box. And there is space for my mini calendar. And a very happy Garfield doodle. Because, yay, weekend! On to my final weekly spread in this setup, uh, the Halloween spread, because of course Halloween is on October 31st and I decided to dedicate this week entirely to that holiday with this little cute Garfield dressed up as Odie and also Garfield in a pumpkin. Uh, we don't, you know, we have Halloween, but it is not as big here as it is in America. We do have a separate holiday where kids go trick-or-treating, sort of, but they don't get dressed up. That holiday is called St. Martin. Um, but yeah, uh, we do love Halloween here, but uh, we, we don't go all out. <laughs> oh, and also St. Martin... Uh, Oh, wait, this is funny. This is, I forgot to speed this part up. I'm sorry about that. But now you can actually see how slow I am uh, it, at drawing. I do like to take my time with my doodles. Uh, I love the, I just, I really enjoy the process. And for me, it's sort of a form of creative mindfulness. Oh yeah, as I was saying about the, uh, the Dutch version, version of uh, Halloween, it's called St. Martin, and kids don't dress up, but they do go door to door and they sing for candy.
And now we are on to my final two spreads for this month. Uh, the left one is a monthly reflections page. I like to look back at each month uh, to see how it went, how I felt, what I've learned and what I can take with me in the upcoming month. And I like, like to close off the month with a quote page, which in this case is a very big, happy Garfield upside down with a quote that reads, the only thing active about me is my imagination. Which means we're almost at the final flip through. Um, before that happens, I would like to thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want me to try this again another time, uh, then consider hitting subscribing as well to let me know. Also consider following me on Instagram for close up pictures uh, for this spread and previous months. Everything will be linked down below. And if you've made it this far, then let me know what you think and also leave a cat or orange emoji. And thank you so much again. Be excellent to each other and maybe I'll see you again. Bye.